What's up, guys? We are doing another daily toy hunt. Today is July 28th. Yesterday, I was it was July 27th, obviously, and I, I did a video, and I saw uh, a few things I actually really like, that Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World um, T-Rex with the... Um, with uh with the jeep I, I was that was so fomo right there i i wanted to get it. i was like even debating on going back to getting it but i, I don't need it for the collection i really don't but fomo will, how, how many of you guys have fomo if you don't know what fomo means it's fear of missing out let me know in the comments below when you what items recently you have put purchased because of fomo let me know but i start work a little late today i start at one o'clock um, it's a little after eight. I'm going to get go to the gym. I haven't really gone to the gym in like almost two weeks. Um, I got to go to the gym, get a quick little workout in, hit, hit a few stores, grab a coffee first, uh, probably grab a coffee, get a couple stores, go to the gym. Then I want to go to the mall before I go to work because I think the Hot Topic exclusive Superman is dropping, the Funko Pop. So I want to go and see if I can find that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what else we, we, we do today. It might, it might be a full on toy hunting day. I don't know. We'll see as the day progresses. So let's go all right first stop these nuts so i wanted to share this story with you guys so you guys know i'm from corona um corona california now some of you guys some of my viewers here might know where the crossings is in cajalco um i usually shop there I usually go to the movies there i was there this past weekend I, don't, I think I was there on Friday. I don't remember what day I was there. It was last week though. But so I was reading on the news yesterday, not on the news, but on, on online, there is a shooting in um, the crossings at the theater. Cause at, at the Edwards theater, I guess there was a shooting inside. I think one, one person died, one female or one of the person's in critical condition, I believe. And um, it happened during the Purge movie. I think there was only, if I remember correct, there was only like eight people in the theater or something. And, I don't know the full details, but I know there was a shooting inside of the film, The Purge. Uh, someone did pass away, unfortunately. And it's just crazy when it's something like that hits close to home. You know what I mean? Um, but that happened at the crossings. And it's just crazy because, like I said, I always go there. I either go to the movies there or I go to um, shop around there. GameStop, Target, all the all the stores that I normally go to is is around that area. It's like right in that, in that structure. So it's, just, it's really crazy. All right, there it is, Target. Let's see what this one has. I haven't been here in, uh, I'm not gonna say like, it's been a while, I haven't been here in a few days. So let's see if there's anything worth picking up at this Target. One thing I have to keep in mind in this area is that it is Wednesday, even though Frankincense starts later today, a lot of the, um, the flippers from there tend to come to this area. So let's see if I spot any of them. Okay, so this is the DC section here. Same kind of stock as you always see. Um, here's that set I mentioned in the previous video that I saw and I didn't see it again. It's a Target exclusive. Um, Robin, Robin King. A lot of Robin Kings here. Let's see what else we can find. I wanted to see if I can see any of the new Ghostbuster figures, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna find any, any here. What's John Cena doing over here? Yeah, there's nothing in this, in this, uh, in this aisle. Okay, here's some of the wrestling and AEW figures. And everything looks the same in the Masters section, but they do have the T-Rex set again. Uh, this is a total FOMO buy right here. It's like, I wanna get it, but at the same time, you're like, I don't need it. They have a couple of them here. I know, I know some people are saying this is hard to find, but I think eventually you're gonna be able to find these everywhere. But the Jurassic World section stuff is pretty stocked. Now, there's nothing else here in this aisle. Um, I found an end cap over here of like Marvel Legends. Oh yeah, it's the usual stuff. Well, no, they got, well, it's dinosaurs. Those pops that never seem to sell. The art series and then um, the Shang-Chi stuff, which also doesn't really sell. I see those things sitting on the pegs. Oh man, those are glow in the dark. I'm gonna get those one day, guys. One day you guys are gonna see me and I'm gonna do a hunting video and you guys are gonna see that I ended up picking up those glow in the dark Hot Wheels. Any Spin Master, that, that, monster, that monster truck Batman thing I found at the previous Target. Oh, this is cool. What the heck are these? That's interesting. Let's see what vehicles they have. 
here. Oh yeah, okay, this is my first time seeing this in, I think my first time seeing that in stores. Fast and the Furious. All right, that's about it. I used to skate these skateboards. Oh, cool, there's R2. Okay, so he's, okay, so it looks like he's 200 for R2. Oh, and there's the awesome Ecto-1. Okay, I didn't find anything at this Target. So what I'm gonna do is go to Walmart, and then from Walmart, I'm gonna go to the gym, and then from the gym, we're gonna go to um, maybe the mall. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to drive all the way to Tyler Mall just to see if they have the Funko Pops. I might not go. I don't know. The Suicide Squad or the Suicide Squad, the, the GameStop across the way has the McFarlane Suicide Squad figures, or well, one of them at least. But I don't know. I'm debating. We'll see. We'll see where I go after the gym. But we're going to Walmart. Right, we're stopping into Walmart. Let's see what they got. This is how you have to power walk to the toy section. How many of you guys do this? How many of you guys like power walk when you're heading into the toy section? That's what I'm doing right now. I don't even know what's here. Whatever was on these pegs is completely empty. Oh, there's no Ghostbusters figures. Okay, this is the new Iron Man wave. I saw this at the when I went to the toy hunting yesterday. This one, I didn't see this one there. So this is a new one, the Ironheart one. Um, okay, so here's some more. Right here is another Iron Man. That's it. The Shang-Chi ones are in the back. Is this, are these missing heads? No, okay. I wanted to see if the Space Jam figures were missing any heads. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else. Look at that, There's, this Walmart never really has any DC multiverse figs. It's so crazy. Like how empty it is on the aisles or the pegs. Here, they got the other side. I think this is gonna be a bust. I don't think there's gonna be anything in here, but we're still gonna look. LeBron. Okay, this pretty much looks like the same when I came like over a week ago. Let's see, this is, this should be some of the NECA and some pop, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, well, there's this side here. I showed this off when this first was out. Yeah, it looks untouched. It looks like it's the same way I left it when I first saw it like this. Um, yeah, there's no Space Jam figures or anything either. So, yeah, no, I don't see anything. All right, I'm gonna leave this place and go to the gym because there is nothing here. That's that guy that helped me that one time. Real cool guy. Let's see what we got. Maybe we got something in the front. Sometimes you can find stuff behind the cage, but no. All right, that's it, going to the gym. So this Walmart finally has the new Mortal Kombat shirt that I saw at a different Walmart. I don't see it anywhere here though. And then they have the new Halloween shirt, which I think is cool. Just the color throws off the whole shirt. And they got that Venom one. I don't think there was anything else that was new. As, when the sh as far as the shirts go, no. So you have the Zelda one, the SpongeBob one is actually pretty cool. Oh, there's a Flash one. But no, sometimes you gotta dig through like some of the, the shirts in the racks because they do have different shirts in there too. That's like where I found an It one, one time. Um, so like, you gotta dig through these and then you'll find them. Have a nice day. All right, so I just got to the gym to get a little bit of a pump. Now what you wanna do is go to the gym before you go toy hunting. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you a little secret. So your veins are popping out, you got that pump going on, and so when someone's trying, someone has those extra figures that they don't need because they're gonna flip them, you go up to them with your guns and you flex a little bit, show the, show the veins, and then they'll give you they'll give you one of theirs that they're, that they're planning on reselling. Don't forget to do cardio, especially if you want the veins to show. So get your cardio in. It's also good for your heart. Okay, so Tyler Mall's right there. GameStop doesn't open till, or Hot Topic doesn't open till 11. Target's over here. I'm not even gonna go to this Target. I don't really like this Target. Um, so GameStop's down the way. I, I don't really go to that GameStop that often. So they're open now. So I'm gonna head over there, kill some time, then come over here and see if uh, Hot Topic has the Justice League Pops. Right over there at that Northgate Market is where Toys R Us used to be. There's Michael's. Hopefully they have uh, Halloween stuff coming pretty soon. And then GameStop is right there. Oh, let's see what they got. It doesn't look like anyone's in here. Let's do a little section here. 
we got? What is this? Look at this. Tauntaun sleeping bag. Is that what that is? This is pretty cool. Retro figures. Oh, this one actually looks pretty cool. It's just already on clearance. Twenty dollars. Twenty. You got it. Oh yeah, of course. And These are like clearance pops. Like this thing that's pretty cool the ant-man helmet that's awesome what are these i don't know who makes these but they're pretty cool looking that thanos in the back iron man hulk infinity legends Oh, they have that spawn here. That's pretty cool. Well, Moment Farland, Justice League. They don't have the McFarlane um, Suicide Squad pops, or figures. But I don't think they have the pops here either. Space Jam. Jeez, they're really stocked. A lot of cool stuff. Man, I can't wait for these. Dude, I like their setup here. They even have a detolf case down that way. Oh, these are awesome. I still need the gold arm, Black Ranger. I don't really care for the Rita. I don't like the head sculpt. Check these out. These are pretty awesome. These are all diamond. Oh, man. Retro. I have the X Men one of these. These are so cool. 15 bucks. Not bad. Jurassic Park. Oh man, it's so freaking cool. It's like nostalgia all the way. Jeez. That's cool. Man, it's not a bad price. Oh, they're blind bags. Oh, they got those uh, J.I. Joe ones over here. Big pins, some turtles. Look at the glare. Oh, they got some alien ones. Never seen these before. Let's get it. All right, did it pick up anything at GameStop? I am currently right now walking upstairs to the mall. Uh, the mall's open, but I think GameStop opens at 11. Not GameStop, Hot Topic opens at 11. Um, so we'll see if we can find anything in here as far as the pops go. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to film more after that. So we'll just, just stay tuned. Watch the video. Thumbs up the video while you're at it. I think uh, Google's wrong. I think Hot Topic's open because Box Lunch was open already. And it's not 11 o'clock. Um, is Pure Blades open? Oh, Pure Blades is open. Eight, eight, well, you can't even see it. We're going to walk into Pure Blades right after. But I think Hot Topic is open. I don't know. I can't really tell. Maybe not, maybe maybe it's not open, but Pure Blades definitely is open. Okay, Hot Topic is open. All right, so I had to redo this clip here because I got a copyright notice. But So I stopped into Hot Topic and I, this is the only pops they had. They did have some Suicide Squad ones. Um, the Rat Catcher, Polka Dot Man, and uh, Bloodsport. Now those figures I actually do want now after watching the Suicide Squad film. Um, they, they didn't have any of the Justice League figures, the, the exclusive Hot Topic Superman, which is the one that I really wanted, um, but they had more Suicide Squad film or figures here, and the embargo has been lifted. Let me tell you guys, great freaking movie. So that was a bust. They didn't have anything in there. We're gonna go to Pure Blades just to see what they have. Look at that. All their cool goodies that they have at the window. Let's see what they got up front over here. And they got some pops, a Catwoman re-release. This huge Deadpool. Some Trick or Treat Studio stuff. I don't even think they get their pops early, so I don't even know if they would even have it. We got some vehicles over here. There's the uh, Chucky. This is the, the Trick or Treat Studios one here. That's pretty freaking dope. Look at this, dude. Look at how beautiful this is. We got Tiffany, Thanos, not Thanos, uh, Galactus. 
Uh, let's go inside. You got the NECA quarter scale animated Raphael and Spider-Man too. Jeez. Oh, there's Immortal Kombat figures by Q Quantum Mechanics. And the turtles in the back. Pretty cool. I mean, I like their setup here. There's those loose figures again that I, I showed them before at another Pure Blades. Oh, there you go right here. Some variants too. The Lorian. And then, oh, that's what it looks like opened. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little setup. What Godzilla figure is that? I think that's a bank. This is what the carnage looks like out of package. Dude. That's crazy. The crow. Jeez, these are all diamond. This this is trick or treat. Probably can't even see it. Oh man, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Wonder what the price is on this one. Let's see. They have like a wall of pops. Oh, they got Jason Voorhees right up there. But they got up top. Oh, man. They even got a chase of the Professor Hulk. Beetlejuice. Some older, older pops. I was hoping uh, they would have some like new Justice League stuff. But I mean, they still got a good selection here. It's freaking... Gremlin figures. I think these are trick or treat or they're NECA. No, they're trick or treat. That's pretty cool. They got those and they got the, the uh, hammer from Child's Play. And their shirts are 15. Um, usually you can find some pretty cool, like, not, well, comic book shirts, but also like horror t shirts. You have to really dig through them. I don't see any right now, but dig through them if you have a Pure Blades by you because $15 for some shirts. It's not bad at all. This is all their anime stuff that they have. Uh, some diamond up top. And then you come over here. Then they have like all the Disney. The Disney stuff. With some diamond up top. And then of course like like in the center is where all their their knives are. Because they do sell knives and swords and oh yeah, replicas over there. Let me go over there. Whoa. Look at that. We got a cool Pennywise shirt right there. We got some more collectibles. I think those are Hot Toys. I don't know who makes those gloves there. I think it's Hot Toys. I could be wrong though. Now those are the re-releases of the um, Batman Returns, NECA, Penguin, and Catwoman. And Jason the Top, the Evil Dead book. Pretty cool, man. Good selection. This is so freaking cool. This is the sideshow. Um, bust of Thanos. There's a Batman one I have on pre-order. And then this right here is, I think this is Diamond Select. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a Diamond Select statue of the Silver Surfer. I said I wasn't gonna come here, but I'm coming to the Target right here on Tyler. I didn't find anything at the mall. I still got time before I go to work. So let's see if there's anything at this Tyler Target. I have not been at this location for, it's been a long, long time since I've been here. So let's, let's hope that they have some good stuff here. Christ. All right, we're gonna see if we see anything. What the, another one. Ah. Oh, this is the variant. This is a new one that came out. This is actually a variant from the, uh, I think they refixed the paint and the underside of the cape is purple. So that's new. I don't think there's, uh, it's first time seeing Snake Eyes merch. I heard that movie was bad. I don't know, I'm not gonna watch it. They have some of the new legends. So you can see up there. I hear flippers on the other side. Oh, there's another snake eyes there. Oh, I didn't even notice the, the helmet. All right, let's see. Oh, they're hunting. They're hunting. Oh, they 
get some masters. Flippa. Let's see. I want to ask you for it. I want to ask you for it. Come back to you. Come back to you. There you go. Yeah. No, no. No, I'm going to have to act the one. Forget that. That's perfect. All right. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Dude, I think that's a slime, too. Jeez, I think I might get one of these. And maybe a couple of these. That's not the price on them. Bank man. Dude, look at all these. That's insane. Flipper alert, flipper alert. Dude, this is their NECA section. That guy that you saw over there with the cart was scalping all the Ghostbuster stuff when I was there. So I'm gonna go back in a minute. Um, I got a few things though. Check it out. Oh, they, it's my first time seeing the uh, Marines. Oh, they got Bebop too and Rocksteady. Okay, it's my first time seeing those here. Let me, yeah, these are pretty cool. Yeah, April and Neil. They actually got some new ones here. Not bad, but as far as NECA goes, and or Funko, uh, nothing. Damn, that guy, that guy took most of the um, Ghostbusters. You can see there was more here. And then all the ghosts are gone. I mean, he left one. Luckily, I got Slimer and Stay Puffed. Um, he left the Ecto-1s though. I grabbed one of those. But <laughs> he took he took everything. Look at that, his cart was full of Jurassic Park stuff. Um, geez, that's crazy. This ghost is pretty cool though, but I think I got enough stuff. I don't know what these are even priced at. I kinda wanna get um, another Ghostbuster, but I'm not sure. All right, I need to get this. A Smashing Pumpkins t-shirt that they have here at Target. Freaking awesome. Love it, love it. All right, so the Target I didn't want to come to ended up having a lot of things. So that guy cleared out the uh, the Ghostbuster stuff, as you saw. He left a few things. Um, he, when I walked out, when I checked out, he, he was right next to me. Uh, he knows the security. He was talking to security about waiting for the next truck. And I, I kind of heard them talking about like, I don't know. I heard him. I heard him discussing it. He's actually right there, putting, loading his car in. He's got tons of toys in his trunk. Um, but let me see. So I'll show you guys what I did pick up. I'm glad I got those, the Stay Puff and the Slimer, because I think that's what he wanted. Uh, let's see here. So I ended up the the figures were five dollars. The uh, action figures, the slime. Actually, I don't even know how to read this. Um, I think everything was like five dollars. I believe. The uh, the Ecto one I don't, was twenty six. Wait, I think I'm reading this right. No, 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 no. The figures were ten ninety nine each. The slime was five dollars, and the Ecto one was twenty six. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. So I got the Ecto one. Uh, this is based off of the new film. I had to get it. I had to get it. Um, as far as the ghosts go, I got or Ghostbusters and, and the figures. I got Egon. I had to get Egon. You have to get Egon. I got the Slimer, which I'm happy to find. Stay puffed, right? And then I had to get another Ghostbuster, so I got Bankman. And then I got the uh, Slime. Now, this Slime here, it says, Ghostbusters Mini Puffed Surprise Marshmallow. Oh no, this isn't Slime. This is a freaking Mystery Mini. Oh man, I, I should have read that. I had no idea. These are Mystery Minis. No idea that that's what these are. So I should have got a few more of them. Um, but that's pretty cool. So I'm glad this is my little haul. I'm probably going to do an unboxing on all of these together. So stay tuned for that video. And yeah, that's was a pretty successful hunt. The store I was not expecting to find anything and it wasn't even going to come to. I had, I came at a perfect time because he would have snagged these. I wouldn't have been able to find Slimer or, or, um, Slimer or Stay Puft or, or Egon. He would have took them all. So really happy with this. A successful toy hunt. So happy. Let me know what you guys have picked up. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs it up. We'll see you soon.